if I walked into Starbucks and every time I was being mugged <laughs> uh, at the door by the, the staff, I would go to Nero. Yeah. I don't like Nero as much, but I prefer it to mugging. We can have sodas with like any flavor you can, you can think of. <laughs> right. That's that's heaven, you know. For thousands of years, you know, that's like what people would imagine was was heaven. You know, you can have anything you want, flavors, all these <laughs> different sensations, whatever you want, anything you want. You got money, you can have it. Um, that's that's heaven. That's what capitalism's offering. It's the invisible hand of Adam Smith. I want something from you, but I'm not looting you. I'm not plundering. I'm not doing anything bad. The interaction is entirely voluntary. And in providing a service, being a butcher, a baker, a candlestick maker, I'm providing a service to everyone in society. Now, if they have some money, they're doing something else. They can have whatever they want, whatever they want. The first states, proper states, we had on this planet when, you know, still most people were hunter-gatherers. So the first states that started popping up in the Middle East, probably, they were farming humans. That was what they were trying to do. It was nothing about helping people. It was nothing about national pride. It was about fooling people and forcing people into becoming cattle. Like the other animals, that the, the first people were nomads who did this. So they were used to cattling all kinds of animals. And they thought, why are we just raiding people's camps for their stuff, their farms, you know, agriculture had come in by that stage. Mm -hmm. Why are we raiding it and getting a one-time payoff when we can just have these guys all around us farming? We build like a big tower. We build a religion up. I'll say I'm the sun god or something. <laughs> and they just give me right, some of the right. food all the time. It's farming. That's, it's, there's no two ways about it. No two ways about it. And some people want to be sheep. Hey, if, if they want to, I, I can't stop them. Right, you can't. But they're trying to stop me. I mean, wh whenever you have property in common, uh, that's a bad idea. Um, you know, put um, the children's favorite flavor of pizza in the middle of the table, suddenly open it. They're all going to scramble for pieces <laughs> to put on their plate. They might not need it right then. Right. Yeah. They'll choke themselves if they eat all that. They're just grabbing it for later. Right, right. You know, this is this is how the buffalo went extinct right. in America, where you're at. Uh, you know, the buffalo were given to everyone by the Sky Father, right. so they didn't belong to anyone. And you know, so the white guy comes along with a better way of hunting them, and the process at which they were becoming extinct because they were horses had already gone extinct. Mm -hmm. Um just increase exponentially whereas the cow being farmed privately owned privately mm. is is doing pretty well there's mm -hmm. a fair few you know few right. of them around right um the, the real class war is against the political class it's against this group who thinks that they can break laws objective laws that we all know mm -hmm. don't don't kill me how do we know that? Well, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to be killed. And if I go around killing other people, I'm basically saying that's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, but there's this group who claims to be able to break laws with impunity, this political class, and they're screwing all of us over, especially the middle class, because they're the greatest producers. Mm -hmm. So they can get more money from them oh, yeah. and say, hey, working class, you want some of this? Then vote for me. How we all just know it's not right to use violence, aggression, coercion um, against each other. That's um, it's it's not a sustainable form of behaviour. But more than that, if we're going to develop any sort of social norms, ethics, whatever law, basically, um, you know, we need to look at what is. What kind of behaviors are universally applicable to everyone and they're, they're unconditional? Um, and that's basically this negative right of this negative right to be left alone. And that's it. That's the only thing that's pretty much, you know, universally applicable. It's unconditional. 